what it is, but I just get these signs all the time. I see certain things that happen. I pay attention to energies. I do things myself that makes a difference and I can just see that God wants the world to go back to what it used to be. And then he, even when I say this, some people's gonna say, oh, the world was always bad. There was always bad in this world. It was never better whenever you were younger and all this stuff. But, and you know, I understand. I understand that there was always bad, but you can't sit here and tell me that it's not, like it's at an all time bad right now. I believe the early 2000s to up about 2010, 2011 ish was a golden was a golden age, was a golden years, the golden era, we should say. And I say golden because if you look in the 1900s and even up to like 1980s, 90s, we had such little then. I I I loved how things were in like 2000 to 2010. I remember things just like it was yesterday. And things were so much better. Things were so much more peaceful. There was no social media. There was none of that stuff. There's no brainwashing. People are more insecure now more than ever. And it's astonishing. It just blows my mind. How could you let, how could you let certain things just like let it get to you? How could you let social media get to you? It should not have an effect over you at all. It's honestly just exposing you. It's exposing everybody. That's what social media does. It exposes everybody. You can act and behave however you want on social media. It should not make a difference. Somebody else and whatever they're doing should not affect your life that much to the point where it's making you insecure. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. There's nothing ever that I've ever seen on social media that's like, oh my God. Oh my God. Like, I just feel so bad. Oh, I've seen that. I just feel so bad. It, it hurts me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How could you let something like that get to you? It doesn't matter what it is. If someone is not making a post about you and tearing you down and literally putting up a picture of you and diminishing you, if it has nothing to do with you, how does it bother you that much? That is what I don't understand about people. And do these things happen? No. Is somebody actually going to put a picture up of you and just bash you? Like, I've never heard of that happening ever. And if it's not that severe of a case, it should not affect you. If somebody targets you on social media, then yes, it might affect you a little bit. But if no one's, if it has nothing to do with you, how does it have any effect over you? Is what I don't understand. But anyways, back to what we were really saying. It's like, I just really believe the way things are today, it's not how it should be. It's not how it should be, and I try my best to do things to make people step back because that's what that that's really what I feel people have to do is step back. People are so deep today into these games, into these mind games, into these you have to be this way, you have to do this, you have to do that. And the conversations people have, it's just nuts. Like put your phone away and hang out in person and talk. Everything nowadays is over a phone. It's like dating and relationships nowadays is like over a phone. It's ridiculous. Do you not want to be intimate with your partner? Do you not want to see your partner? Do you not want to be affectionate in person? Do you not want those things? Do you, do you really get off on being on a phone? Does that really turn you on? Does that really spark something in your soul? Because I feel absolutely nothing over a phone. I just don't. It's empty. It's it's not real. You have to you have to be in person. You have to you have to be together. And it goes not just in relationships. 
but friendships as well. You're just gonna talk to your mate every single day, all day over a phone, and you can stare at that a friendship. You can talk to somebody and you can make plans to do something and then you can get together and actually do something fun, which is what cell phones are really designed to be and what they're made for, but it's like, people took this shit way too far. And people just have it in their heads, oh, cell phones are so convenient. We don't even have to be in person anymore because we have this and we're right there. But it took away everything. It made people hang out less. It made people in relationships not see each other as often. It made everything like this. It made everybody more distant, which is not the key. And with that being said, you do need distance also from, from people. That's not even what I'm trying to say, but it's like everything is over a cell phone now. It's like you can never hang out. You can never hang out with your significant other. You can never do this. You can never do that. Why? Because all oh, you can just talk to them so easily right here over a phone and you don't, you don't even have to be together. I think that's horseshit is what I think. And I think that is what's ruining a lot of things. And social media or no social media, I remember yesterday what life was like without it. And I, I feel the same. It has no effect over me. I'm still me. I still do things as if social media didn't even exist. I'm not buying into that much where it's changing me completely as a person and, and I'm being a certain way and acting a certain way and doing all these things. With or without social media, I would be the same, probably even better, to be honest, because it does take a little bit of focus away, just a little bit. And we can't lie about that because we're going to spend some time on it. You just can't let it, you can't let it like consume you. You have to use it for what you want to use it for and get off. You can't be too into it. You can't look too much into it. That's what people are doing. They are too into it. And it's ruining a lot of shit. What you should be into is getting together more and be more into that. Be more into actually getting to know each other in real life. And I just think everybody needs to take a step back. Just hold up. And you know what? Not every single person in the world is like this. They're not. There's still a lot of people that, you know what, they might use it very little. And that's good. Because that's what you should be doing. That's what I do. I don't have a whole lot of posts on social media. And I've said it before. To me, YouTube is not social media. It's something completely different. YouTube... It's in a league of its own. I don't consider it social media. I don't have friends on YouTube. And I don't mean subscribers. I don't like. I don't mean subscribers. I mean like other accounts. You're not like engaging with other accounts. You engage with subscribers, but it's 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 completely different. Like you make videos, and it's like that's how it is. But on social media, you make posts. It could be similar to some people, but to me, it's just YouTube is in a league of its own and you can't look too much into anything you can't let anything consume you too much you have to keep living your life I try to make positive impacts on every social media that I have I try to make people be more positive work harder, see on the more brighter side of things. It's all these things. It's all about leveling up in life. And if you're too consumed in any social medias, you're not going to level up in life. When I use certain platforms, I use it and I'm off immediately and I'm living real life. I'm in my zone in real life. When I use social media, I'm in my zone for a specific amount of time. I do what I do, and I'm back to real life. That's how it is. You don't get too consumed in it. You don't 
live in it. And I feel like a lot of people where they're going wrong is they're living in it. You can't live in it. You still have to do things in real life. You still have to be a real person in real life. You still have to be strong in real life. You still have to work hard in real life. You still have to train hard in real life. You still have to do things that's going to make you feel good in real life. Because social media is just not going to do it. It's not going to. <clears throat> and I feel... You know... I just hope things can get better. I hope people realize... Just what to do more and how to like, how to use social media better. How, how to use everything in moderation. How to get the most out of things. When to go on, when to go off. All these things is what people have to learn. And I truly feel... With or without social media, these same people would still not be as productive as they could be, which means they still feel not their best and like shit. And I just feel a lot of these people want to point fingers and like complain of how shitty they feel because of social media. Wrong. Wrong. Because I'm not. I'm never gonna. Pl I'm never gonna complain how shitty I feel because of social media. Are you that weak? That you have to blame and. That is what it is. It's the blame game. You're pointing the finger. These things are making me feel bad. You are full of shit. No, it is not. It is you 100%. You see something you don't like. It hurts your feelings that much. Get the F off it. Tough love. But get the F off it. What are you doing? You feel shitty anyways. And you can't convince me otherwise. If you felt real good, you felt real positive, you've seen something on social media, you're in your zone, you're in your good energy, it's not going to affect you. The truth is you're already triggered. You're already on that thin line. And it's like every little thing you point the finger to. Oh, this. Oh, that. Oh, that makes me feel bad. Oh, this, 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 this. Look in the mirror. That's what it is has nothing to do with anything else. Some people hate because some people look really good in social media. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how good somebody looks. Oh, they just did this. Oh, they just did that. Da 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 da. Let them do whatever they want to do. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, people are going to do what they want to do and you don't have to you don't have to witness it. You don't even have to have the app. Problem solved. Psh, morons. Morons. And that's what I'm trying to explain here. Like, social media did make things worse because of how people use it. But it's still not the deciding factor. I think people are overusing it and they are on it too much and they are less of themselves because of it but you can't just point the finger and blame that that is the reason why you are however you are and feel however you feel you just can't because you have the power to do whatever you want this is not a video of me sitting here bashing anybody this is the truth. This should make you feel better. These instructions of how I'm trying to explain things should make you feel better, not worse. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, you know, you just, you really gotta know what to do. You gotta know how to move. And I'm just trying to explain things to the best of my ability before I do forget something and end up cutting this video. But I think you guys get a good idea of what I'm trying to explain here. Because um, 
because I just keep going back and forth. It's like, yes, social media made the world worse, but then again, it shouldn't, if that makes sense. It did make the world worse because of how much time people get, are consumed in it. But it should not affect your mood. It should not make you depressed. It should not give you anxiety. It should not do this. It should not do that. It should not do any of those things. It just shouldn't. I believe you have those things anyways, with or without it. Things may trigger you to make you feel a little bit worse. But you already feel that way. It's not just going to... Some, like lightning's not going to come striking down and boom, you just have all those things. It's, it doesn't work like that. You were already that. So what you have to do is you have to find out what is wrong. You have to find out what the problem is and come up with a solution. And I feel if everybody can do this, and I don't even believe social media has to be erased. I just believe the way people are on it, the way people use it, it can lead to some things like that because of how stupid they are in using it. And then that's when you want to blame. But you have to blame yourself. Not these things because you are the dumbass that is using it the way you're using it. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying here? Get the hell off. Go ride a bike. Go eat an apple. Drink some water. Go breathe in nature. Go to the gym. It's that simple. Start doing more things that's better for you. You don't even have to erase social media. You just have to learn how to use things better you have to realize what you're doing is wrong, not what everybody else is doing. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. You should be worried about what you're doing. Fix your own damn problems, because that's what it is. So, tough love. You were told the truth. But anyways, I'm gonna cut this video now. <clears throat> Let's just hope and pray that more people in this world wake up and realize the right ways of doing things because it's going to make everything better social media don't even have to be erased you just have to be aware you just have to know what you're doing it's what it is your identity is not on social media your identity is who you are in real life your confidence is what you have in real life Social media is something completely different. Social media is like a video game. Would you consider your identity of yourself on a video game? Look, this is a video game that I play. This is how good I am, so that is who I am. No, it is not. It's like a little tiny piece of who you are and what you can do. You're still you. You still have yourself. You still have your family. You still have your friends. Maybe a spouse. This, that, that, this. There's so many other things. You can't buy into everything so much. You know what I mean? So, the final message before I cut this video off. <clears throat> plain and simple. Stay hard. Stay solid. Stay aware. And let's do what's right.